Good morning, good morning. We're on to the next one in my sourdough art journal that I'm using bits of my starter, my paper, in every single spread. Um, oopsie. Today, the prompt is Lowe's. Now, I saw, I even looked up like, I just Googled the word loaves to see what would happen. I had to make sure my camera was on. <laughs> and uh, for those people that are new here, this is not a very high tech situation. That's the reason why my video was upside down the other day. Yeah, yeah, I just noticed that this morning. Thanks. Okay. Um, so I take a piece of paper, I take a bit out of this starter. This is my sourdough starter. And it can't be anything that I pre-think. I, I don't pre-think anything anyhow, which is kind of sometimes obvious. But then I had this folder of paper from last year that I never finished. Because sometimes I do this to myself. I make myself little games just to give my... Just to... Make it fun. Make it fun. For no other reason. Make it fun. Um, inspiration. Huge, huge, huge. And if you don't have it, I need to have... I, I like to work intuitively, but I need to have some kind of outer, huge picture theory going on somewhere. Thus, the sourdough, sourdough paper. I mean, it just has to be there for me. And so, I just like... And I, I, when I grow up, <laughs> I'm over 50. When I grow up, I want to be a homesteader, but I don't have the living situation to do that because I live on the side of a hill, a very steep hill. And our soil is all rock, completely rock. I mean, there's like that much dirt. In fact, things that we have planted here, uh, we've either planted in planters or there's a lot of dirt brought in. <laughs> so anyhow, um, all that to say, today our word is loaves. The prompt I gave myself. And you guys can play along. I don't have a hashtag. I don't do any of that stuff. Um, I just am here for fun. And this is how I start my day. And it has to be, you know, I see a lot of people going through those, the artist way daily pages. And I had that book. I gave it to the thrift store. I used it. I read it. But this is kind of like my daily page. I have to have something here. This is how I start my day every day, whether you're on a camera or not. Um, it's my own Therapy, it's not cheaper than therapy at this point <laughs> with all the supplies, but um, it is, it is, it is a, a grounding and a therapy technique for me. Um, but so anyhow, the parameter I gave myself was loaves and I have to use this paper. It doesn't have to look like a loaf. It doesn't have to incorporate any kind of biblical story of loaves and that of the fish and all that kind of stuff. It it just has to have this piece of paper in it and this. And that's all. And the word loaves. Written in gold and over outlined or written over in black pen. That's the only parameters I have given myself. I painted all this paper because I didn't like it. I've had it for years and I've never used it. So I just slapped some paint on it the other day, thanks to Carti and one of the ladies here. And I'm like, now I can use it. And it's inspired me at times. So anyhow, all that to say, I Googled the word loaves this morning. And, you know, the, all the images of bread came up. And I thought, okay, drawings of bread, which I'm going to put one of those here. So it has kind of like an oval shape and then it had lines across it. So... We're going to make oval shapes with lines across them. Now, I use a lot of circles in my daily pages. <laughs> that's a low. That's a circle. That's a that's an oval right there. And I'm tr I I don't want to get away from circles cuz I I love So here's the like the lines you would draw on your dough before it starts to bake and then it has all these cool shapes when it comes out of the oven. Or indentions. That's as far as I've gotten. 
So now do I take inspiration from the colors here, the blue, um, another oval shape. Anyhow, I, I have made two shapes that I really like. That one the other day that had the like half moon with a piece of paper through it and then a circle off the, to the side. Um, the moth looking shape, I loved that. Which actually is really more the state of South Carolina, <laughs> which is where I am. But I can tear the rest of this up into little pieces. It has white torn edges. Do I want to keep those? Do I not want to keep those? I don't know. Um, I'm going to get rid of the edge here because I, I like torn edges everywhere. So maybe I sprinkle stuff around. Maybe when I was rolling out my loaf this morning, I got pebbles of dough balls everywhere. That would probably happen in real life. And I like that. So now, this is what goes on in my head. I'm not trained, obviously. But do I want to bring in some black? Do I want to color these white edges? Do they kind of correspond to the white lines on this under color here? Do I want to bring in this orangey yellow color? I don't know. Do I draw more cut lines in all of these pieces? I think I will. Even though they're not ovals anymore. That's okay. This is why I don't plan. I don't have all these pre-planned out on a journal somewhere and every day I film them. No. Or recreate them. No. Can't do that. My mind does not work like that. Do I, I love stuff that is stacked. I don't know why I just do. It's kind of a... I see, I already like that even better. It's, it's kind of a icon looking thing. You know, people stack rocks and they like have prayer rocks or whatever out in the desert or in the Grand Canyon or in Tibet somewhere. It's kind of cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we need one on this. Side. Do we make it even? Do we need to make it even? Mm, I kind of like it even today. Tomorrow, maybe not, but today I do. Okay. And I don't like to think too long. I mean, I really sit here for like 20 minutes and do my morning pages. There's paper next to me that is real tempting. There's washi tape close by. Mm, no, no, no. There's paint. I could add paint. Oh, I could walk at washi tape. But you know what? There's some green sitting right here. And there's green here. Maybe I put more green in these things. I don't think this is really... This is old. But we might be able to get something out of it. This might cover up my marks. But that's okay. It's kind of translucent, so it's not covering them up completely. Do I bring more green into here? Maybe. Kind of add to the marks that are already there. You really can't even see these. Does that mean I need to cover some, do something else on top of them? Like that wild orangish yellow. I even added green to the starter. Now I have this paint. Kind of like a wipe off page here that I can't use this month, but some other time I can use it. Okay, what is that color? 
Huh, like an orangey yellow. Which I don't know why I got it from. Oh. How about Dina Wakely Tangerine? Bet you that's pretty close. But let's just, because this is such a fine tip, let's see if we can just, like, bring it out. And how much is left in here? I don't know. Can you refill these bottles? I don't know if you can or not. I love this size. <gasps> okay. Oh dear. Already it's showing up more. Or it's kind of showing up and at the same time molding into like one piece. Now, I think you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add black around the edges of all the little pieces. But then does that mean I need to glue them all down first? I'm gonna leave the white. Everything's wet. Oh, you know what? Let's put a little orange on here. Hello, are you in there? This is really kind of empty almost. Ooh, I don't know what this is. I found it. Might be a cricket. No, because I don't have a cricket. I don't know what it is, but it's like a um, a rubber tip. And it's really easy to control and good in my tiny hand. Okay, I wish I had. Oh, you know what? Let's just get black paint out and do the same thing with that tip. Which means it won't be perfect. Does that bother me? No. I'm not a perfectionist. <laughs> Hardly anywhere. Actually. This is probably old too. But I don't know if this is going to work. Shoot. I probably need to glue these down. They're all wet still. This is why I don't like, and I don't want to take, you know, 27 steps to film this. I want it done in one shebang. That's another thing. I think if I were an oil painter, I would go crazy because don't you have to wait a long time for oil paints to dry and then like proceed to the next layer? That would not be good for me. Actually, I'm doing this the hard way actually. Let's just put glue down here. Uh oh, now I'm not going to be able to paint on there. Sometimes my um, process is me correcting my mistakes. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I don't have a problem with that. It 
sometimes it's, it's getting your hand in the paint. That's okay too. I'm into my work. But yeah, I, I've been seeing a lot of people, it must be like the new trend. Although I don't, I think that book's been out for a long time because, I mean, I've known about it for seven or eight years at least, I think. And uh, this is kind of like my version of the artist way, which my old art group, I, I guess I still am part of it, but right now if you understood the political system in the state of South Carolina and on what side of the fence I'm on, it's not good to be out in public <laughs> in most instances around this place. Yeah. My entire art group is on the other side of the fence and that's all they like to talk about and they're ill informed. So I just stay home and talk to y'all. Okay, so now it's theoretically glued down. Now let's see if I can't do the edges better. But we talked about that book several years ago. Okay, I don't like that. This paper has a kind of a surface on it. It's not working right. So that's actually, I think, I really like a scratchy, just regular ballpoint pen when I do this kind of stuff because it kind of allows you to scratch a frame around something and I like that look. In my practice, there is paint all through here, I'm getting my arms in. found out we had a boat accident on our lake. I live on Lake Murray and um, in South Carolina, right in the middle of the state. This is a huge lake, but they had a college level oh, shoot. bass fishing tournament over the weekend. And we had a lot of fog and one of the boats crashed and one of the drivers was killed. One of the fishermen were killed. But I'm like, since when do you go to school at the University of Kentucky for bass fishing? <laughs> like, what? My husband has a really good friend that um, they were talking about it. And he's he loves to fish, but he's retired now. And um, he said, I could get into that. Like He needs to be Professor Martin. <laughs> okay. I really, really, that's different. And how, oh, I need to write the word on here, loaves. And how do the, how do we know this is a loaf? Because there's our loaf of bread right there from our starter, right? Right. Doesn't it just scream loaves to you? It does to me. I've really gotten into abstract. As if you couldn't tell, but I really, I like that too. And I like how it came together. That's what I like. The way it came together is just organic and I like I like that. I really like that. What is tomorrow? I wrote my words down. Um... gotta find it. I wrote it in my Hobonichi. Ferment. That's going to be an interesting one. And this is our paper, which I don't like. But we'll, we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. So thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Bye.